Hi guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I want to explain the different headphone modes that are available on the Rodecaster Pro. You can access the headphone settings by tapping on the settings wheel, then hardware, and then advanced. There are two controls here that affect the headphone outputs, and by default, neither of them are activated. In this normal mode, the headphone outputs are calibrated to work well with most headphones, and what you hear in your headphones is exactly the same as what's being recorded to the micro SD card. For the majority of applications, this setting is the best to use. If you have headphones that need a lot of power to drive, such as some professional high impedance models, or if you like to monitor your audio at higher volume levels, you can boost the headphone output volume using this control. This will make all of the headphone outputs substantially louder, so take care when activating it. Turn down the level on the headphone volume controls for every channel and be aware that it affects your guest's headphones also. With this control activated, the Rodecaster Pro is capable of driving headphones to extremely high volume levels, so please be aware of this before you turn it on. The Limit Maximum Volume Control activates a peak limiter on the headphone output. This prevents sudden loud sounds from reaching the headphones by squashing their level down, removing the risk of receiving an acoustic shock from, for example, an unexpectedly loud sound source. This of course is a great function for schools or for applications where there may be people who are not familiar with operating audio equipment. This does mean though that the signal that you hear in the headphones may be modified slightly by the limiter so it's not a true representation of the audio signal that you're recording to the micro SD card. It's also important to realize that while the limiter will prevent sudden loud signals from reaching the headphones, it doesn't stop you monitoring at a high volume level. For optimal operation and to protect your hearing, we recommend that you monitor your podcast at a moderate volume level. Thanks guys and happy podcasting.